Welcome to the demonstration of new features in PC Crash 15.0. Here I'm going to show some animated sub-meshes. So in this uh, file here we've got a vehicle driving along, nothing interesting, but wait, look at that, a door is opening. If we look at this in the 3D window, we see we've got an inset overhead view. Okay, what's happening there? So. The way this has been set up, the first vehicle, if we go to the display settings, you can see we've got new sub-meshes. And we've got a sub-mesh named door left front, and it has uh, the following setup. If we click the little ellipses here, you can see it's set up to open to an angle of 40, minus 45 degrees after a little wait, and then uh, it goes, holds it and then goes back. And so that's why when we move along, it's doing nothing. It starts moving at that one and a half second mark. Two and a half seconds, it's fully open and then retracts it. So you can see if a mesh has a sub mesh, if you bring that mesh in as a drawing object and then you zoom in on it, you go to the draw menu and there's a pick sub mesh option. If I click on that left front door, you'll see that it has door left front as a sub mesh of body. This particular mesh has been set up with other sub meshes. There's door left rear. And if we flip our view to see from the side, you see that the individual wheels are set up as uh, sub meshes as well. So anything with a sub mesh, you can set these uh, these uh, values for in the kind of like path uh, points for the sub mesh to follow. But you need a, a mesh that's been set up and you pretty much need to bring in the, the meshes into PC Crash and pick the sub mesh to see if it's been set up correctly. Uh, you can even uh, load in sub meshes with multiple degrees of freedom and do multiple sub meshes. So in that case, you would look at this uh, vehicle list here. And then you would do another mesh. You'd have to type in the mesh name matching what comes up there in order for it to work. So uh, I can show you that in another video.